It's live. It's live. It's I don't know what's going on. Ah, okay. I ideally am on air. Um, I might be moving. I might not. You can tell why I don't vlog using my webcam because it's rubbish. Um, but the plan at the moment is that I do this Google Hangouty thing uh, with Ben, who I talked about in the Lyco chain. Ah. 4211. And, uh, yes, he, uh, I've no idea. He's, ah, here you are. Ben, Ben. Hello. We're Hello. live. We're Hello. live on the thing. Hello, Hello. Internet. We are yes. live on the thing. Um, the doctor's so, favourite word at the moment is thing, I think. Yeah. Yeah. No, I, I think his catchphrase has become, um, question, because he always, yeah. Is, um, can you see me? Because I still can't see you. It's fine. I'll, uh, I'll get. I'll get you in a minute. It doesn't matter. Um, uh, I've clicked present to everyone so they can all see you. Um, right. It said, Ah, hang on. I'm get. Milo to Ecuador is presenting to everyone. Well, there we are. Um, <laughs> anyway, anyway, yes. we can talk and then you'll appear on my screen eventually. Yeah. Um, anyway, time heist. Are you going to yeah. introduce it? Have you introduced uh, us? I haven't really introduced this. I've just said that I don't know what's happening. Um, yeah, like I say, this is um, Bach. This is uh, Ben, who I talked about on on my um, Like a Chain video. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, we're doing we're doing a Google Hangout, and we're going to talk about the latest episode of Doctor Who, which was like ended what. 20 minutes ago? Yeah, 20 minutes ago, yeah. yeah, Not long ago. And, uh, no, exactly. Uh, yes. So, yeah, there's going to be rampant spoilers. But, yeah. Uh, so, so stop watching now. If yeah. Go not. watch it on iPlayer now, then come back and watch this. Yeah. Do that, so, uh, do that now. Yeah, so what did you think? You, uh... Well, <laughs> yeah, I can see you. Ah, see. good. Yeah, what did I think? Well, um, uh, it was... At the beginning, at the beginning, I was like, "Wow, this is fast. This is very fast." I was like, "What, what, what is going?" It, we, yeah, way. we were sort of, "What the hell is going on here?" Apologies, for French. What is going on here? And then it was sort of like, "Bam, bam, bam." We're, we're we're in this place. This this girl. How did she get? How does she change into this this bloke with the suit on? You know, and it's all very confused, and we don't really know what's going on. And then it sort of starts to settle down a bit, and we're sort of this all the way through. There's loads of questions, and I really like that. Um, mm. um, and I wasn't really thinking too much about the questions. Uh, and I was just sort of, sort of carrying on, hoping that it, that they would come to some kind of substantial resolve. And when when I started to realise that I like the whole thing, like the sort of thing that the Doctor hates. The um, what was his name? The the, um, the, the uh, architect. Oh, the architect. And everything, you know. Yeah, and 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 so that the clone, this um, the clone, you know, um, she hated her clone. Carabaxos. Um, yeah, That's and yeah. and what's her name? Uh, what was the girl's name? The black girl's name? Uh, Sabre. 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 She didn't like looking at herself, and I thought that was quite clever. And I was like, oh, so it was the doctor, and then the yeah. resolve was. And of course, sorry, uh, we we've seen that before, haven't we? In um, Amy's Choice, where the Dream Lord is him, and he sort of goes, yeah. "There's only one. Yeah. The, there's only one person who hates me as much as you do, and yes. it's him." Yeah, and I, so, I, yeah. And, and I and I liked how when the Doctor when 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 the Doctor explained that he was under forced hibernation, the Teller, then that came to fruition later on because we realised that oh, he's under forced hibernation. The, um, you know, she doesn't want to be there. She, she regrets the fact that she's. Let him die, and 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 now she sent the doctor in uh, under this thing of breaking into the bank, which is is sort of uh, slightly unbelievable when you think about it. Would the doctor really go in? But I like quite like the bit at the end where he sort of said the, the call me thing, you know, as as, mm. as 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 he went out, sort of like yeah, I, I I'm robbing a bank, sort of thing. Is mm. sort of the doctor done his spare time? <laughs> no, um, so yeah, so just to recap for anybody who. Uh, is a bit bemused. Fully get is a bit bemused. Yeah, yeah. Basically, um, you have to start from the end. It's yeah, what, start from this sort of great, great, great tradition of sort of hangover fiction or amnesiac fiction, where everybody has yeah. to piece together what's happened from the end yeah. and work backwards. Only this time, there's time travel involved, so it's mad. They're all yeah. in the vault of a bank, yeah. and the sun is about to destroy everything. 
this, yeah. the um, alien sun is exp it's expanding, it's not, there's solar flares, and everyone's yeah. going to die. And this woman, uh, um, the bank manager, abandons them to die. Yeah. And then the doctor gives her his phone number. So when she's old and dying, she regrets what she's done, and she phones yeah. him up and says, stop that from happening, because in yeah. the vault with the doctor and Clara and the other people are the last two members of a species and they're going to die forever. Yeah. You know? mm. So, not to mention the Doctor himself, who's the last time, or that's even yeah. worse. But... Which is which is a parallel there, isn't it, in many ways? Yeah. It's always, yeah, and the star yeah. whale and uh, the minotaur and things, you know, it's the yeah. last of the species. Yeah. yeah, so that happens, and then the Doctor receives this information. He then travels back in time to the point where he's required, to the point of the solar flare, yeah? Yeah. yeah, and he collects these people who help him break into the bank and yeah. sort of lay message. But the but um, because the bank, the people guarding the bank have this creature called the Teller, which can detect guilt. Yeah, and then steal your, or turn your brain into mush, basically. Yeah, um, mm. they wipe their memories yeah. before they break into the bank. But so important they before they did that, they they um, they met that bloke, didn't they, with the suit on, who was obviously a mm. member of the bank. Or a, a customer. It was a customer. So the doctor yeah. shook hands with him, and then I believe the doctor shook hands with Saber, and Saber yeah, registered. Yeah, the doctor got his, his cells so that she could yeah turn into him. Yeah. And then and then somehow we're not really sure, but that was registered onto that little chip. Was yeah, it? so that she could then pick him up later. Pick him up later. Cells because so, he wouldn't remember it, would he? Yeah, and um and then so then they take the memory worms. They're in the cell. They're in well, wherever they are. That that room. Cupboard thing. Yeah. That, that cupboard thing. And then they they um they delete they use their the memories. Worms. Delete yeah. their memories. With the memory worms from the snowmen when we the first snowmen. met Clara, where yeah. they try and erase her memory, and Strax keeps touching it by accident and going, <laughs> "Well, uh, oh, you want me to get the memory worm? Hang on." <laughs> <laughs> so that happens, and then the story the story is that the that it's all wrapped up in the idea of the doctor following the architect's instructions of of uh, of trying to break into the bank because they think that they want what is most valuable in the universe, which isn't which is sort of right. Yeah, but sort they, of they don't, see they don't know they know they've agreed to it because they hear a recording themselves, but they don't know yeah. why they've agreed to it. But yeah. the doctor sort of goes, okay. Basically, whatever you want will be in this vault. Yeah, but that's yeah. that's what we think is the most important part of the plot, but it's not, is it? Because the most oh, important the part important is saving part. the teller. Yeah. So, so that's sort of a secondary plot that sort of pushes them there. For, it gives it gives it reason, doesn't it? it gives it a s substantial reason. Yeah. So, but, but then the, the whole plot is constructed from the inside out rather than yeah, yeah. Yeah, and what I quite like is that what the Doctor and Clara most wanted was actually to save the teller. Yeah. Because the teller was in the vault that they were trying now, to access. I said this earlier, but um, I was thinking through the episode, I was going, okay, they're going to find something in the vault. That's yeah. obvious. It's a bank robbery. You end up in the vault. That's how bank robberies work. Yeah. Um, he says earlier on, he says, bank robbery is easy if you have a TARDIS. Why am I not using the TARDIS? And I thought, maybe the TARDIS is in the vault. And yeah. like, the, thing he, the thing he values most is the TARDIS, which has been with him for you know, 2,000 years, years, whatever. Yeah. yeah. But no, it was, it was a cracking episode, yeah. Yeah. Um, out of, just, just, just so we can sort of gauge how good it is, um, which which episode of the series has been your favourite, and where would you put this one on your list of this series? I, uh, I, I, I really liked the opening. Deep breath. So deep breath. I, deep breath was a good yeah, episode. I did like that, um, but I, I preferred. The thing is, in every Doctor Who episode, you've got the the plot around the characters, the Doctor and his companions, and things mm. that happen with them, and you've got yeah. the monster of the week and stuff yeah. like that. And yeah. Deep Breath was focusing on the Doctor because it was his first episode. Yeah, so the monster yeah. was kind of secondary to the plot, mm. whereas this one was the, the purely plot. Was everything it was purely plot, and I, I, as a plot episode, I thought it was great. Yeah, um, I am looking. I'm looking forward to the next few episodes, certainly. Yeah, because they're going to be pretty good. Um, I think. Well, I, I yeah. think the, the plot. The I think in terms of an episode, Deep Breath was spectacular, um, and I think that it was. Um, it was very dramatic at times, wasn't it? Like, mm -hmm. like especially th that moment when the when Clara was confronting the droid. Yes. And, yes. and she and was like, "Had to trust this guy." Yeah, and she had to sort of waiting for the Doctor, 
and then and then he comes and um, however however saying that conjecture it was almost completely ruined by the fact that then Clara doesn't you know that if if the doctor is still the doctor he will have my back and he did and yet she still doesn't believe in him at the end mm -hmm. and then we get the whole Matt Smith cameo which I thought was completely unnecessary and and it, and it oh. sort of ruins the plot and oh I was just I like why I, I when, when I I was in. I watched it for the first time in. Um, for people who don't know, I was in the premiere in Sir David Hall, and it yeah, was like, I hate yeah, you, right, for it. you I got know, the premiere. I know. I know. Ah. I know. Anyway, <laughs> we were like, whoa, it's Matt Smith, right? I, um, but then when you think back on reflection, you think, hang on a minute, what? What? It was. It, it was like. It was like the Matt Smith Doctor is controlling this next Doctor's fate with Clara, yeah. and it's like. And, and it was weird because it was almost like as if the eleventh Doctor wasn't the twelfth Doctor. It was like the eleventh Doctor was like someone else, and the twelfth yeah. Doctor I mean, it's was. It's a whole. In fairness, it is a whole new cycle, isn't it? Yeah. The the, 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 the person we call the twelfth Doctor is yeah. actually number one of the second cycle. Yeah. Which which may make which may put some purpose to the whole Matt Smith thing, but it almost felt like yeah. as if it was almost like I think they. Can you imagine if they'd done that? Done something like that when David left a right, Matt Yeah, along. but the thing is, that's it's not quite the same thing because when David left, he yeah. his companions had gone and he was alone. Yeah, yeah. He started like afresh. Whereas Clara's bridging the gap. Bridging the gap, yeah. Characters. And she doesn't yeah. trust this new guy. I think it. I think with, I think it would have been difficult to have her suddenly trust this unless. Peter had given a sort of speech by himself, saying, you know, yeah. that whole, you look at me, but you don't see me. If he'd given that yeah. by himself, and she'd gone, yeah, okay, you're still the doctor, yeah. and they cooked it out and gone to get coffee. Yeah. That, that, that would have worked, but I think yeah. it was difficult for her to sort of accept him. But yeah, don't, no, you, don't, you, think, don't you think, surely, that, um, I don't want to change your opinion or anything, but this is what I was thinking, surely, if... If she sort of like, if the doctor is still the doctor, he will always have my back, and he did. Surely that's enough to convince her that he's still the same man. Yeah, I think really what happened at the end was the whole that he'd uh, gone off without her. And, yeah. Which, in uh, fairness, he, the doctor has a history of doing, doesn't he? But yeah, um, he's done he, he's done that before. He's done that loads of times. Um, and the one thing I missed really from that episode, I know we're not really talking about deep breath, but what I missed was the was you know in every other every other one we've had. The, the clothes selection. I, I have this idea in my mind of of him still in what he was wearing um, at the at the end before he changed. You know, um, in that Edwardian costume he was oh, wearing. Oh yeah, the, uh, yeah. The green and, sort I, of and I and I and I imagine I imagine Clara going right. You need a new 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 clothes, and then he he just being so arrogant and going no, I don't, no, I don't, I don't need any new clothes. And then she sort of like goes to wherever the wardrobe is and starts throwing yeah. clothes at him, and he's like putting them on and really reluctantly. And then at um, the end, he, he sort of puts that outfit on, and she goes, "There, you look great." And he goes, "Yeah, it's all right." But you can yeah. tell he really thinks yeah. it's really nice. And stuff. Yeah, yeah. That would anyway, be good. Yeah. Anyway, so, so um, time heist. We were talking about time, time heist. We were talking about yeah. yeah. I say it's up there. Yeah. Um, what would you give it out of if you were to mark it out of five? Out know, of f oh, out of five. Okay. Um. Or out of ten. I know, I'd give a, uh, out of ten, I'd say a sort of nine. Nine, yeah, just a nine, it's a strong, I guess. It's a strong, it yeah, it was a, yeah, I, yes, and it, and it was, it was good, you get thrown into it, like you say, you yeah. get thrown into the plot, but mm, it picks itself quickly. up, so actually, actually I think if you watch the, the episode as a whole, it's definitely worth it. Yeah, and I think, um, it's a bit confusing, yeah. I think it probably would turn off the more casual viewer, but I think it was a real treat for, for the Whovians out there, you know, mm. the, the fully-fledged fans. I think it was a real treat, a real sort of wibbly-wobbly, timey-wimey moment, oh, really, yeah. wasn't it, where, where, where everything is confused. So, uh, um, I mean, I haven't, I haven't really been a massive fan of this series so far, but I would have to say, like I, I mentioned to you earlier, I said I really think this episode... It could be one that really kickstarts the good episodes. Yeah, and yeah. I, because he's had he's had his sort of moments of being the new Doctor and Clara yeah. and that kind of dynamic, like what's going to happen with it. But now they're they're, they're, they're sports, in now, you know. they? They're there. It's, um, it's finished. It's decided. Yeah. Yes. And I personally, um, for me, I would have to say that that was my favorite episode of the of the series so far. Okay. Um, well, I, 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 it's certainly up there. I don't know. I don't yeah. know really. I think I, I think I have to. So far, it's. 
I don't know, to be honest. Um, <laughs> excluding the... what I was going to say. Um, go on, go on, yeah, go on. I've forgotten. <laughs> <laughs> that always happens, I'm going... Oh, oh you have... A... Th- oh, no, wait. Uh, you have a great I'm idea, going... and then it just goes. Yeah. yeah um, ex- what, do you, what do you think, because... Um, Next episode is the halfway point in the series because it's it twelve is, episodes. Yeah, yeah it's, six you know, weeks. Deep wow. breath is double length. Mm. Um, so next, next. We'll, hang next. on a sec. I'm being called. Excuse me. And hang on a sec. What, Joe? Joe? So yeah, what I what I was going to say, viewers, is that um, as next week is the sort of halfway point of the series. Um, what what do we think of the series so far? Uh, where do we think it's going to end up? Sorry, internet. Sorry, no yeah, mind. It's fine. I had to do filler chat. It's great. Um, okay. Yeah, I was just going to say um, what do um, so next week is the halfway point of the series. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, what so what are you uh, what uh, what do, what are your hopes for the next sort of few episodes? Like, what do you hope is going to happen? Because we don't really know much about the next few. Except well, obviously we we saw the next time trailer. Yeah. The next episode. So I think next, yeah. If I if I think about the next episode, um, it, ha- it looks like it very much has the look of some, um, school reunion about it. Yeah, uh, he's going back to Coal Hill, which is where the series started, isn't it? Which and is uh, which is very very good. I think it's a good idea. And and yeah. he's the school caretaker, which is in Remembrance of the Daleks with Sylvester McCoy, the last Scottish Doctor, Sylvester McCoy. Um, if you exclude David Tennant as a cockney, yeah, because yeah. David Tennant put on an accent. Was, so that's why he had a Scottish accent. Yeah, and so he, um, he was sorry. Uh, yeah, Sylvester McCoy in Remembrance Daleks um, goes into the school to investigate, and he's yeah. there looking for a janitor, and ah, he says, "I'm right. the doctor." He says, "I'm the doctor," and they say, "Well, you're probably overqualified, but yeah, you could have the job." And, they, and he goes, ah, "What? So no, I'm here throw... to investigate evil." <laughs> it's a so, throw. Yeah, it's a throwback. That job at last. That's, yeah, that's quite it's cool. A, it's a, yeah. um, what do I think? I think we'll probably finally see the doctor and Danny come together. It's going to be that moment where mm. where this normal human being realizes that there are aliens out there and that that the doctor yeah. exists. There's probably going to be a bit of fireworks between the two of them. Um, I think that's a given because. I, I um, think actually we might have a a chance to see the Doctor being hypocritical because you know he's this destroyer yeah. of worlds thing, and then he apparently he's going to sort of um, this is yeah. real spoilers now, but I read something like he's going to sort of be not get on with Danny because Danny was a soldier. And yeah, I, I've heard about that. Yeah. yeah. Well, the thing yeah. in, in Into the Dark, he goes, "I don't like soldiers," doesn't he? You know. Yeah. I've got a thing about... So I think there's going to be, over the next sort of three or four episodes, we're going to get this real friction. And I think Danny's going to come along with them, but I think there's going to be there's going to be a real tension. It's, I think the next episode is going to be, again, it's going to be one of those sort of character episodes more than a... More than a plot episode. Yeah. Which... But... I don't um, mind... Character-driven plot rather than... Yeah. Character-driven yeah. plot. So it's based... Yeah. It's more yeah. about the characters, yes. Yeah, so that that should be interesting. Um, however, I, what I hope is that we get to see the da- Danny and the Doctor come together and sort of see Clark stand there and watch these two blokes argue, like, oh, gosh, here we go again. And uh, hopefully this, this whatever this monster might be, will throw another thing into the bag, into the mix, you know. And I think what will probably happen is Danny will realise when he sees this monster that there really is aliens and that the Doctor really is one of them and that he really needs saving and that, and that the Doctor's quite important at that point, you know? Yeah. Um, no, exactly, yeah. I, yeah. I, I, uh, what did I say? Because we, we spoke earlier. Um, yeah. I said we might be about to be um, Mickey Smith, where well, yeah, the character, we, yes. sort, of, yeah, yeah. character but, sort of turns up and he's... Uh, but the thing yeah. about... Um, Danny rather than Mickey is that he's got a certain depth to him because he yeah, had a, and he's a bit he's a bit more of a hard character. His isn't first he? appearance, yeah, he's in his first appearance. Somebody asks him about the war and he cries. You know, yeah. he's really got a depth to it. But yeah. this is a character who we're going to see more of, and yeah. we're going to sort of realize he's got layers to him, and he's and also the parallels. I think between, that's sorry. The parallels between him and the Doctor would be interesting because sort of he wants both of them want to hide their past, don't they? Mm. No, no, exactly. But I yeah. think um, the Doctor and Danny will only get on and finally become sort of friends. Um, yeah. You know, they'll, there's a sort of animosity, but I think they will get together once the Doctor realizes that Danny, you know, has depth to him and has 
more yeah. than just what you see. Um, I think by the by the the series finale, the two parter. I reckon by then, I can imagine at the end he that maybe Danny will do something that's quite significant, and maybe by then the Doctor will be able to finally accept him like properly. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? Um, maybe maybe the Doctor doesn't like him because he reminds himself of him reminds him of himself. Maybe, no, yeah, that's yeah, exactly, yeah. Maybe, maybe that seed's been planted in this episode where the Doctor says he hates he hates himself because he hated the architect. Yeah, exactly. He was he manipulative. Hated, he, yeah, yeah. So, so maybe, 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 yeah. maybe he's going to hate Danny because he, he he reminds him of himself so much. The former soldier who regrets what he yeah. did. And yeah. That. Mind you, though, surely. Oh, that, hang on a second. So, so. gone. Um, hello, I, hello, the internet. Yeah, uh, I feel we may have to continue this in part two. Hang on a second. Okay. Um, hello, internet. Um, I'm talking. I don't know if you can hear me right now. Um, Milo has gone somewhere. He's abandoned me. That's really helpful. Um, um, yeah, so what was I going to say? I was going to say... Um, can you save it for part two? Um, because... Yeah. As we mentioned earlier, you ate before the episode in I preparation did, for this. Ish, but ish. I... Yeah, I'm but not. I didn't eat before the episode, so I'm going to eat now, and I will right. try and be fairly, you know, expedient. But uh, we're going to have to do part two of time yeah. by spoilers. Actually, I've called this the Whovian vlog, so I think the next one should be called the Whovian vlog, and then something else. Yeah, we did, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. We'll talk we'll about we'll talk about the, we'll talk about the co- we'll talk about the fourteen doctors after after. The oh break. yes, oh yes, the cosplay because yeah. um, Ben's doing the cosplay thing. Um, yeah, we'll, we'll, so, we'll yeah, talk about that afterwards. Eat. Yeah, I'll see you. I'll see you all in a bit. I'll talk to you in a bit then. Okay, bye, bye, bye guys. Bye. Thanks for bye. watching. Bye.